Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start a new topic which are logic gates. Logic gates here we are studying as an introduction in the pulse and digital circuit subject. So there are three basic gates and two universal gates and two exclusive gates. This is the general gates we have in the digital circuits. Now the basic gates are AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate. These are the three gates known as basic gates because with these three gates we can design any type of logic circuit. Okay, we can design any type of logic circuit using basic gates. Basic gates are as three basic gates. Three gates are known as basic gates. They are AND gate, Second one, OR gate. Third one, NOT gate. Okay, these are the three main basic gates. They can be used to realize any type of logic, whatever the big size it is. That type of logic function can be realized using this and or NOT gates. That's why these are known as basic gates. Universal gates are universal gates. Universal gates are, two gates are there, they are NAND gate and NOT gate. NAND gate and NOT gate. These gates are universal gates. Okay, two gates are there. And exclusive gates. That is, again two gates are there. They are XOR gate and another one is XNOR gate. Okay, so all these are having separate separate truth tables and applications depending upon their truth table we will choose whatever the gate we need. So why these two gates are NAND, uh, universal gates, NAND gate and NOR gate are used to realize any type of logic gate. That's why universal gates are NAND gate and NOR gate. Whereas exclusive gates are XOR and XNOR which are quite opposite all these gates what we have seen earlier. Okay, I will tell. Now coming to R operation, here we are studying about completely R gate. So R gate gives the symbolic representation of R gate is symbol this is the symbolic representation of two input or get a b and y if you take the truth table of this particular or get a b y these serves as inputs and it serves as output so let us consider there are two inputs a b so how many combinations will come 2 power 2 I think but four combinations will come. So those four configurations are given as 0, 0, 0, 1. It is 1, 0 and 1, 1. This is the four combination set. Okay. Now for this type of inputs, how the gate is acting? What is the output? Okay. 0, 0 means output is 0. 0, 1 means 1. 1, 0 means 1. 1, 1. It is again 1. So in our operation, if any one of the inputs is 1, output is 1. If any one of the inputs is 1, output is 1, else it is 0. If all the inputs are zeros, then output is equal to 0. Next, we can draw the same OR gate with 3 inputs A, B and C. So A, B and C. This is the symbol for 3 input or gate. So again same similar combinations we will take A, B, Y, A, B, C and Y. Suppose if I take A, B, C and Y here then it is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And here onwards for all the inputs which is having 1, 1, then output is 1 only. Because in R gate, 0, 
plus 1. If any one of the inputs is 1, output is definitely 1. Okay, otherwise if any of, if all of the inputs are 0, so output is equal to 0 because there is no power to come out. Okay, so it is y is equal to, the uh, expression for this R operation is y equal to a plus b. This is not sum. This is R operation, plus refers to R operation. And y is also equal to a plus b. Okay, so now let us examine the same R operation with respect to a two input R gate using bulbs. See, using switches. This is a switch, a series switch, and this is a switch, series switch. A, B, these are the two switches which are connected together on either sides. Nothing but these two switches are in parallel. It is the lamp when the output is okay, then the lamp will glow. So we are setting the program like that. So lamp some value that is equal to here it is applied already with input voltage. This is the circuit. This is the battery supply we are giving here. Okay. So now we need to explain how it is going to be done. See in the previous slide I told you 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 1. The 0 means what? 0 means 0 means 0 volts. 1 means plus 5 volts. 0 means 0 volts. 1 means plus 5 volts. Okay, so whenever I say 1, that is nothing but plus 5 volts. Okay, but in logic operations, all the values are represented in zeros and ones, but 0 means here the board consisting of 0 volt supply. For 1, the board consists of plus 5 volts. Now, see. Let us take the switches A, B. This is switch. Here it is. Now, it is the lamp. So, open circuit. Open circuit. I am taking both the A and B as open circuited. Open circuited then there is no current flow, so light will not glow. So, this type of output we are taking it as dark mode. And second one is open close. So, open close is nothing but in the second case, A is still open, but the B is closed like this. When B is closed, what happens? There is a current flow from B battery supply to lamp through B. So, definitely the light will glow. Whenever one of the switches is closed, definitely the output will glow. So, output is bright. And second one, third one, open, uh, close and open. Close and open, the same case is there, but one uh, another switch is op operated. If A is closed again, then the current stores, uh, flow, uh, starts flowing through this and light will glow. It is also bright. But the last case, close, close, that is also bright. Both are short circuited, both are short circuited, closed, then the current flows through the both and then light will glow. Okay, if you draw the same table with respect to your zeros and ones, then this first table will come, this one. Okay, so this is the general operation of a two input R gate. Suppose if you are having a three input R gate, see I will tell that one also, it is for two input R, two input R operation. So next one, three input R operation, three input R gate. So how to draw the three input R gate using switches, the same. One more switch comes in parallel with the existing two switches. So here we are having one switch. Second one. 
and it is third one. So the switch name is A, B and C. You should uh, short circuit these switches on both the sides. Again at the end you are connecting it with a lamp. Okay, now if any one switch is closed, then light will glow. If any one of the switch is closed, definitely the light will glow. Okay, if all the switches are open circuited, then only output is equal to 0. If all the switches are opened, then there is no output. There is no output. Nothing but output is equal to 0 volts. Okay, so in this way we can design two input three input any number of input or get using these switches generally these switch names are known as single pole double through double pole double through like that okay